method. And the idea is if you're given a quantity and know how many parts out of the whole that quantity is, so for example, you might be given that 50, 50 kilograms is half of whatever quantity that is, or 30 liters is one third of the quantity, you might be given that amount. So you're given a fraction and an amount. Then you want to find, it's very easy and a simple way to find out the total amount. Okay? So if you have a fraction of the total and you know what that fraction is, you can work out what the total is by using this method called the unitary method. Which basically involves you find what one part is. Okay? You find what one part is out of the total and then you can multiply that by how many parts you need to find the total. Alright, so the best way to do it is to have a look at some examples. And we're going to do that now. So what we have is Let's have a look at the first one. If four fifths of a number is 60, what is the number? So the goal of this question is we want to find what one part is. We want to find what one fifth is first. So the question is how are we going to do this? Okay, so we know what four fifths is. We want to know what one fifth is. So now what are we going to do? Yeah, we're going to divide 60 by four. Okay, so to find one part, okay, we do 60 divided by 4, and that is equal to 15, okay, so we know that, 15, so what we can say is, what we say is, 15 is one part of this total amount, so 1 out of 5 is 15, how do I find out what's 5 out of 5? If I know what 1 out of 5 is, how do I get to 5 out of 5? Yeah, you times it by 5. So if 1 fifth of an amount is 15, to get to 5 out of 5, I times it by 5. Yes, No, because it's only 4 parts out of the 5. My thing, I'm looking at the top here, the numerator, and it says it's 4 parts is 6. I divide it by 4, and to find the total, I multiply it by 5. So I need to do 15 multiplied by 5, which is what? 75. So 75, Bethany, is the total. I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. 75 is the total. I just said it and wrote it at the same time. That's mm -hmm. not good. I'm sorry about the pen. I will try to do it. Okay, so. That is the whiteboard. But it has the whiteboard. To find one part is 60 divided by 4, and then you multiply it by 5, because there's 5 parts in total. Okay, so basically what we're doing is multiplying by the numerator find what one part is, and then multiplying by the denominator to find the total. Okay, so in this case, it's the answer is 75. Two. Two find one part. Well, obviously I'm not going to say, you find one part. Two find one part. has been reduced by one quarter. The new price is $600. What was the original price? Okay, it's reduced by one quarter. Let's just come over here and type it on. It's reduced by one quarter. So what is $600 as a fraction of the original price, Nelson? What's $600 as a fraction of the original price? Back in, please. Math. It's three quarters. Because you take a quarter off the total, which is one, and you're left with $600, which is three quarters. So $600 is three quarters of the original price. 
right? So that's our first step. We have to find that 1 minus a quarter. 600 is 3 quarters of the original price. So my next step is to say, well, how do I find what 1 part is? How do I find 1 quarter of the price? What do I have to do to 600? What do I have to divide it by, Carl? Three. I divide by 3, because 3 out of 4 is 600, so I want to find 1 out of 4, which is 200. Okay, so if you find 1 quarter of 5, we divide 600 by 3, which is equal to 200. Original, nothing? Oh. To find one quarter of the price. Divide 600 by 3. And then $200 is one part out of 4. So how do we find the total? Yeah, that's right. To find the total, multiply 200 by 4, which is $800. So $800 is the original price. Okay, And you can check that again. If you reduce 800 by one quarter, I'll move it a sec. That's right. If you reduce 800 by one quarter, you get to 600. All right, so we, we make sure that it's making sense both ways. So to find the total, multiply 204. So the total amount is $800. Okay? And so that's the way that we need to sort of think about it, where you reduce an amount by something, you've got to work out, well, what's left? We've reduced it by one quarter, so three quarters is left. And then you need to find, well, what's one part? One part is $200 and multiply that by 4. So again, what we're doing is, you're, you've found that 3 quarters is 600, you divide 600 by the numerator, which is 3, and then you multiply it by the denominator, which is 4. Okay, divide it by 3, multiply it by 4. Divide by the numerator, multiply it by the denominator. Alright? So I'm going to flick the, the next exercise I want you to do, 3.03. I'm going to flick over, so don't yell and scream that I'm going to come back to it. What I want you to do when I go is I want you to write down what questions I would like you to do. These are the questions, exercise 3.05, 1, AGM, 2, 4, 6. That's what I would like you to do. Okay? We've got 10 minutes until we need to go. Alright, so you need to just write these questions down. Work on the exercise, and then I will make it your time for And make sure when you finish that you mark your work. If you have any questions, ask Mr. Mills or...